Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. In the last episode, we got some Temporos Uniques. Killed the giant mole for mole claw and mole skin. AFK'd for about 9 hours in Castle Wars so we could buy a Halo. We then rolled a Brine Saber task where we had to train our Slayer and do a bunch of quests in order to kill the Brine Rats, which we did and got the Brine Saber. And we ended the video by rolling a Revenant Aether task. So I've learned something about the Revenant Caves, that you have to pay 100,000 coins to enter. Uh, I'm poor, so this kind of sucks, but I don't really have a choice. Rip 100k. Let's hope that I don't die. If you don't die, then you don't have to pay it again the next time. So yeah, let's just not die and get some ether. Cool, we did it. What a good use of 100,000 coins. Uh, I accidentally killed another one and I got a bracelet of Ethereum. I don't know how rare that is from an imp, but that'll be nice the next time I come here. And I'm pretty sure that's a task, so oops, but I did it. Ha 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 ha. There's no way. <laughs> the, the, the bracelet of Ethereum's won 200 from the imps. <laughs> I'm so good at RuneScape. Well, that was a very fun but expensive task, so let's go ahead and complete that one. And generate a new one. Valid Reedy Diary. Nice, I love the diaries. Generally, I like the diaries because they have multiple skill requirements and quest requirements, but as you can see here, I've already done all of them. I already have all of them. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go and do the task. Shouldn't take me too long. And then I'll have another lamps, access to a shortcut, Fowler Shield 1. You know, it's not bad. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Easy Falador Diary done. Falador Shield 1, Antique Lamp on Prayer again. Nice. And we get to do this again. Complete that task. Not quite 20%. Generate a new one. Get a big swordfish. Oh, okay. Sure. So, big swordfish. Just a random chance when you're fishing swordfish to get a big one. Uh, one in 2,500. Oh, it's gonna go fish some swordfish. This is actually amazing because I've been trying to find something to AFK while I edit the last video. So yeah, this is perfect. Well, I'm five minutes away from the gamer log, so I think it's time for me to go to bed. All right, the next morning, I've been fishing for about an hour and just finished making the thumbnail for the last video. I'm uploading it as I speak. And yeah, now now would be a good time to actually get the swordfish. That way I can go and actually play the game now that I'm not wanting to AFK, but you know, I can't complain. I'm just, I'm watching a podcast, you know, I'm chilling. So I'll let you know when I get it. Well, that was another eight and a half hours of fishing. Still no big swordfish and it's like 2 a.m. So I'm going to go to bed. All right. It is the next morning, the start of day three. Uh, I'm probably gonna actually log off so I can see how many fish I catch today, or close rune light rather, but yeah, let's keep fishing. Alright, here we go, reset the fish counter. Uh, so far I think I'm at about 2700 if you add up day one, day two, and that's including the tuna. I'm not really sure how the drop rate works, it's one in 2500, but I don't know if it's only one in 2500 if you catch a swordfish. It has a 1 in 2500 chance to be a big swordfish, or it's a 1 in 2500 chance every time you catch something from the spot. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm feeling like we should get it pretty soon, and that'd be nice. And just a little update, I'm up to 63 fishing, 64 cooking. My cooking is going to shoot up a little bit ahead of my fishing now because I'm barely burning anything, so I'm getting a lot of cooking XP and fishing is still rather slow. Uh, my biggest... 
goal right now. Obviously, I want to get the big swordfish, but uh, if I can get 65 fishing, I can use a fish pie that I got from Gourmet Implings for a plus three boost to get into the fishing guild, which would be nice. So that's sort of my secondary goal. 65 fishing for the fishing guild or obviously the big swordfish. We've done just about another, just over three hours of fishing. And there it is, 65 fishing, which means I can go and boost into the fishing guild, which will give me a uh, invisible fishing boost while I'm there. So I'm gonna go move over there. Still no swordfish yet, but I'm gonna keep going. The range is a little bit more out of the way in the fishing guild, so it's actually just faster for me to bank the raw fish. Hopefully my fish per hour will go significantly up and therefore I will get this thing sooner rather than later because I am a little tired of fishing. Well, it's been a few hours. Fishing in the fishing guild has definitely been faster. I mean, obviously I'm not cooking them, so it's faster because of that reason. I have the fishing boost closer to the bank. It's, yeah, everything about it's good. Still no, uh, no swordfish, but if I catch another fish, here we go, 65 fishing. Oh, never mind. I was already 65. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm one XP away. I see. There we go. 66 fishing. Uh, yeah. I'll let you know next time I do something. I've been fishing for a few more hours, got 67, and still no swordfish. Well, no big swordfish. There we go. 68 fishing. Still no big swordfish, but at least that means that I can enter the fishing guild without needing a boost next time, so I guess that's kind of nice. Next milestone will be 70 fishing. I can go and do the barbarian training and do a barehanded to get strength XP, which I'll probably do because I just want to do something. <laughs> Literally, just let me play the game. Alright, well, that's another 12 hours of fishing. No big swordfish. This will continue tomorrow. I'd say good morning, but if it was a good morning, I'd be fishing. Oh wait, I am fishing. Good morning. Nice. Oh hey, 70 fishing. I can go do the barbarian training to bear him swordfish. Which I think I'm gonna do, just because I need to do something to break the monotony of just pressing the fishing things, so. I can go do that, and I'll be back in a bit. Well, that took me like 10 minutes, but, yep, there we go. Now I can barehand swordfish, so I'll be getting a little bit of strength XP per catch, which is pretty not substantial at all, but at least it's better than nothing. I'm gonna be here for a while, apparently, so might as well get the most out of it. So, I've been fishing for about 10 hours now, and I just got a mime random event, which if I go to my random events, I believe, yeah, I just need the stale baguette. I've got every other random event uh, costume piece, so that's fun. Oh, I was so distracted watching the 2014 hit Divergent directed by Dave Berger that uh, I didn't even notice I got 72 fishing. Okay. Alright, well, I guess that wraps up day number four. 3,300 fish. I don't know what that is, like 12, 13 hours. Um, yeah, we'll keep going tomorrow. Day 15. Let's give it up for day 15. No, it's day five. This is the start of day five. I did it. Oh my god, finally, it happened. Oh my god, I can leave. Thank goodness. Oh, I've, I've, I fished so many fish. I, I saw it on my screen. I almost didn't believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, I'll probably put some sort of fish counter on the screen, but you can see here. These are all the ones that I cooked at Catherby. And then once I moved over to the fishing guild, this is how many more I caught. Uh, I think I started the grind at 
It was like 56 fishing or something. So, wow, I passed a million fishing XP. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, God, thank goodness. Let's do something else. Been a hot minute since we've been here, but get that off my screen. Never want to see that again. Let's find something else to do. Recall the camp. All right, yeah, sure. I can get. I get to start farming. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's let's do it. Okay, so here's the plan for farming. I went ahead and bought 350 pineapples. Which means that I can make super compost at all the allotment patches, which I'm going to do. First things first, I'm going to run around and I'm going to plant as much as I can in the allotment patches. And put 15 pineapples in the compost bin at each one. Then I'm going to go to the Hosidius Saltpeter Mines. And I'm going to get, like, uh, I forget how many I handed in last time, but it's probably going to be, like, 800 saltpeter. And then make the sulfurous compost out of that, hand that in, which will get me to, like, 13-ish farming, I think. Then I'm going to go and do the goblin subquest of Recipe for Disaster. Which will give me another 1000 XP, which at that point I have no idea what level I'll be. Then I'm going to go harvest my allotments and my super compost. Don't know what that'll put me at, and then I'll figure out my plan from there. So I went and got all the stuff for the first part of Recipe for Disaster. I'm going to go ahead and complete that. Go in here and watch the whole cutscene thing, and then, yeah, should be able to just do... Oh, I'll need to do Goblin Diplomacy. I kind of forgot about that. But, yeah, we'll do that right after this, I guess. We out here with my boys Bent Nose and Work Face. Uh, gonna go ahead and do the Goblin Diplomacy, and then, yeah, we'll start with the farming training. There we go. Common diplomacy done. Let's go and do the thing. Okay, got all the things here for the goblin part of RFD. Gonna go ahead and start it. And I forget what I have to do. Goblin village, okay. Okay, well that was nice and quick. Should get a thousand farming XP. Along with a couple other things, and let's see what level I get to. 10 farming. Okay, yeah, I can work with that. Wow, 1,000 total level. That's kind of cool. I didn't really see that one coming, but yeah, I just got it from uh, farming level making this uh, fertilizer. Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Go me. Okay, I have made all of the buckets for City's Favor. Got 100%, which got me to level 18 farming. And I think this is where I start just actually farming. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But uh, the, the reason I did that was kind of twofold. One, it actually gives decent farming XP for lower levels that you don't have to wait for. And two, you need 100% uh, favor to do the tithe farm, I believe. It would let me open this. Uh, play the tithe mini game. Yeah, so I needed that for the task anyway. It gave me good XP, so that's nice. Um, yeah, going to go figure out what I'm going to do. So I figured now would be a good time for a little update. I have been doing some farming, just going to all the allotment patches, doing all the regular farming stuff. Um, but in, in between farm runs, I'm going to Draenor and I'm just pickpocketing the Master Farmer and then walking over and starting my farm run on the patch south of Falador. So go here, do pickpocket Master Farmer for seeds, go over the farming patch, go to that one, teleport to all the other ones, then teleport back to Falador, walk down Draenor and repeat. Uh, it, it's been pretty fast. I mean... It's, it's early farming, so it's not that fast, but yeah, it, it's nice. A, a good change of pace for sure. Well, I missed the level, but I got 34 farming. 
I have been doing allotment runs for like a day now. Just been, like, a, like I said before in one of the other clips, just been doing my allotment runs and thieving seeds in between at the Master Farmers. And yeah, got the level, so I'm just going to finish this farm run and then we'll go and do some type farm. So the Gricolers can can be bought from the Tithe Farm reward shop for 200 points. Acts like a watering can, but it holds a thousand charge instead of eight. So it will actually be useful when I do more Tithe Farm. Uh, unfortunately, if you go to the reward shop, it is one of the most expensive things in the shop other than the seed box and the herb sack. But those two things are very useful and this is sort of okay at best, I guess. But, you know, it's not too bad. It let me train my farming, so all I need to do is get 200 points at Tithe Farm, and then I'll be able to buy it. So let's go do that. So here we are at Tithe Farm. If you've never done any Tithe Farm before, I'll give you a quick little rundown of what you're going to want to do. So what, the, the mini game revolves around farming these plants, and then watering them, and then harvesting them, and then deposit them in the sack, and then you get the points. And I'm going to be doing a 20 route. So you plant 20 seeds at a time, so you get through the 100 in, in five sort of cycles. And what you're going to want to do is you plant the seed, and then you water the seed, and then you move on to the next spot, and then you plant, and you water, and you move on. And you do this 20 times all across the farm. You can see I've laid out some, or I've put down some tile markers here. This actually I had uh, before when I was doing this on leagues, I think. So kind of convenient that it stayed here for me. Uh, these are the tile markers I use. It saves a game tick when you do that move right there. Usually if you don't go on a diagonal, it doesn't save the game tick. That one is irrelevant, but yeah, so. So, as you can see here, I have 20 of the Golovanova fruits, and when I press deposit in the sack, you'll see I'll get a nice big XP drop of 20 fruit and still zero points. So, what actually happens is you don't get any points until you've deposited uh, 75 fruit and then every fruit after the 75th you get a point up to 100 which you have to leave to get more seeds so essentially every 100 fruit you get you get 26 points which is kind of weird but that's just the way that it is which means i need to do uh 26 250 wait is it 200 250 i don't remember i think it's 200 so 26, 200, so I'll need to do 800 fruit, so eight full things, which they're five cycles each, so four, 40, 40 cycles of what I just did. Yeah, that's, that's it. So I finished that round, got the 80 more fruits, put them all in, I'll be at 26 points. Cool, uh, big XP drop actually, which is kind of nice. And all you do is you just go out and get more seeds and come back in, and we'll do it again. This is going to take a while, but it's, I mean, you know, whatever. I get to actually play the game. Got another 100 fruit here. I'm going to put that in the sack, putting me at just over 100 points, so like halfway. Uh, I did the math, I, I timed a couple of the runs, and it takes me about five minutes to do one cycle, and there's five of them in the hundred, so that's like 25 minutes. Plus a bit extra time for waiting around for like run energy or to refill my cans. So that's like, let's say half hour to do a hundred and to do a hundred fruit, which is 26 points. So I need to do that eight times. So it, like four hours, it's going to take about four hours, um, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've already done half it. So two more hours, uh, I'm going to go take a break for dinner, but yeah, we'll be right back at it. All right, here we go. Last game here, or last deposit. 49 farming. That's actually, I, I think I started at like one or four or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy the can from this guy. Oh, one sec. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and buy the can. And we did it. Nice. And back on the spreadsheet, go ahead and complete that one generate a new one and we're going back to Winter Todd. 